Right before the trip, I had been watching Planet Earth from the BBC, and it just reminded me of something like that that you see in the movies or on TV or in a magazine, but you never actually get to experience it. And so going there was just like, wow, am I really here? Is the water really this blue? I didn't know that the country was so um, diverse of huge ice fields. A lot of times it was compared to Greenland and Antarctica, having like the largest glaciers closest to the equator. You know, and they have such a varied climate throughout the whole region. They have penguins in the desert and flamingos in the ice fields. The title of the class is called Sustainable Energy Development in South America. The class is supported by the Graham Environmental Sustainability Institute. The specific um, uh, issue that we're dealing with involves um, some very specific proposals to develop hydropower through the construction of some large dams in the Patagonia area of Chile. And what the class is trying to do then is to understand the issues that would um, relate to sustainability types of questions surrounding the proposed development of these hydropower projects. Our uh, goal was uh, for the students to understand that uh, issues that relate to the environment and the conflict with um, the economy and with social uh, aspects are complex. And that uh, it's very um, hard to get to any conclusion if you look at things from only one perspective. You know, I guess I'm just wondering if it's an outlier that's going to occur. I'm taking the class with students from a lot of other disciplines, such as engineering, studying the environment, other social sciences, and I'm studying business, so we all bring a unique perspective to different issues, because we've all had different experiences and we have different backgrounds, and that really contributes to a fuller learning experience. I am a mechanical and industrial operations engineering dual major, but I also have a really strong passion for the environment. I understand the engine, like sort of what engineering would go on for these projects, but sort of the political climate, what sort of opposition they're facing from different groups to these uh, hydroelectric projects uh, has been different, something I wouldn't learn in an engineering class. Well, the main thing it does is it removes everything from sort of an abstract discussion about uh, what the issues are and so on, so they can really have a a strong touchstone to the um, whole issue and you know they go to the places where these projects uh, would be implemented and they see what it's like now and try and imagine what it would be like in the future if those projects are developed. I can see from from the power standpoint and the, the sort of the energy crisis that Chile is experiencing that this would be very beneficial. Even though there are negative impacts, um, such as the size of the reservoirs that these dams will create, they are very small in comparison to other projects we've studied. I went in with a very open mind, thinking, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna take a stance, I wanna learn as much as I can. I left with a Patagonia senior praises pin, and that's how I feel right now, is that they need to consider alternatives because the one they're considering now isn't the right one for the region. We didn't expect the students to go there and, and learn numbers or facts or remember names. We wanted them to see how the issues were uh, so interdisciplinary, that sustainability is, needs to be an uh, issue that considers interdisciplinary things, that uh, they need to learn right, about the, the impact uh, that these projects have on people, on the environment, on the economy. 